The United States likes to be number one in the world. Back when the uh, Olympic uh, Games were played in Vancouver, uh, we came in number one. But if you look at the same countries who won medals at Vancouver, and you compare the United States to these other medal-winning countries, we come way down the list in science. And it's even worse in mathematics. There is something that we need to do if we're gonna put our educational system back together. If we could do it, we could raise in the long run our productivity to such a level that our economy would grow by a trillion dollars a year faster than it is today, which would be enough to pay off all of our debts, which we would, of course, love to be able to do. Creating human capital is really what it's all about. How do we create talented people, skilled workers, individuals who can accomplish a lot. That's what this country needs. And if we don't have it, we're gonna have a huge shortage in skilled worker. It's already there. We can see unemployment rates being two, three times uh, among those who haven't finished their high school diploma as compared to those who have a college degree. And that gap is widening. In the course of the recent recession, uh, we have really come to see the significance of having a good educational system. What are we going to do about it? That's the question. Bring more effective teachers into the classroom. And that means identifying effective teachers, and two, compensating them, and three, keeping them and not keeping the bad ones. A recent study has come out that's shown that if you have an effective teacher in your classroom, teaching 25 kids every year for 10 years, the impact of that teacher in the long run as compared to a very bad teacher, the impact will be $5 million. The study that uh, was done on, on this uh, actually looked at how much uh, young people earn 20 years later when they went into the workforce. And the ones that uh, had the good teacher were earning so much more that when you add that up, by the 25 kids in every classroom this teacher had over a 10-year period of time, that's 250 kids, then you get to the $5 million. We do know that the school accountability system that we put in place has had a small effect, but a genuine effect. And I think that's one of the issues that's going to be out there on the agenda because we have to relook at the federal law that has set up our current accountability system, and I think that's uh, I think there's widespread support for it. And then finally, there's a real demand for alternative schools so that people can have a choice of the school they want to go to. And the charter school movement is beginning to have an effect. About 5% of the students are now going to charter schools. And these are privately managed schools, but they're paid for by the government and they're set up with a government authority. And maybe that's the way we need to go in education. In, in uh, New Orleans, uh, almost the whole system has gone with the charter model since uh, Katrina and the impact on that city is really quite remarkable. That school system is no longer the bottom of the barrel in terms of uh, the rest of the country. And so if we go to uh, New Orleans, we can see some exciting developments occurring in education, as we can in New York City and in Washington, D.C., where uh, charters are, are making their mark.